Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we will be going over the top 5 most reliable farms that you can do right now. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Now coming in at number 1 the out of the most reliable farms and that is the exotic leather. Now exotic leather is a staple skinning farm and that is in the location of the Isle of Giants. Not only do you get a chance of getting loads on loads upon of exotic leather through skinning you also gain a load of giant dinosaur bones that you can then post on the auction house i find this to be a great farming location if you have nothing better to do um, mainly because you have a chance of getting mounts from here through the eggs which will have a three day to hatch and you also get a load of the battle pets which you can then sell on the auction house if you rank them up to level 25 that is amazing because a lot of them are actually used in pet battles and also along with that the exotic leather has a chance of producing magnificent hide as well of skinning all of the dinosaurs that you'll be killing while running around the the actual island and with that you can then use your giant dinosaur bones to do the daily stuff also by taking out on dasta making sure that you take out on dasta at least once for that run because she drops a load of giant dinosaur bones for you just straight off the bat if it's your one day kill now aside from all of this that is absolutely brilliant and i find this farm to be Pretty damn awesome overall. The only thing that I would say or would suggest is if you're going to do this, make sure that you're using a utility class that can actually get around the area pretty damn fast. Now, I would either recommend using a demon hunter or a druid for this. Other than that, if, you, if your skinner is something else, then don't worry. Hunters are pretty damn awesome at gathering up all of these dinosaurs and burning them down as well. The only one that I've ever really struggled with and actually used on the Isle of Giants besides my utility classes, and that is my mage, and it really did affect my gold per hour. So be prepared to make sure that you're using the, a correct class before you actually farm this otherwise your gold per hour could be a bit skew with. Now coming in at number two we have an oldie but a goodie and that is the Whiptail farm. Now Whiptail is one of the most reliable farms for me and this is why I've compiled it on the list because Whiptail through every expansion has been an absolute amazing gold farm. I found it to be one of the best ways in order to make gold because the price never really changes or is really affected all that much unless someone's playing silly buggers on the auction house but then in like the next few days it will just recorrect itself this is why i consider it a reliable farm because the price doesn't really change due to what expansion you're in or what have you and if the price fluctuates it will balance out faster than most other materials than they usually would. This is why I found that the Whiptail farm gives you a great gold per hour and it is the most stable gold per hour that I have found throughout herbalism. Now that being the case you do get a strong amount of Whiptail and volatile life which one of them Whiptail sells on a medium end rate and the volatile life sells quite fast. In the grand scheme of things, you'll most likely sell your volatile life before you sell your whip tail. And other than that, this farm has been a great staple farm overall for absolutely ages. Now coming in at number three is a non-profession one, and this is the volatile water farm. Now this one can be found in the Twilight Highlands, and if and in conjunction used with the potion of treasure finding you will pull in an amazing gold per hour for this standing alone the volatile water farm is pretty damn awesome overall regardless because it drops a hell of a lot of volatile water and volatile water sells in the grand scheme of materials insanely fast that could be because it is used widely in the creation of the Vial of the Sands mount which requires 10 volatile water in order to create one true gold which you then have to use to create your Vial of the Sands and at the end of the day this material sells insanely fast because of that fact. Any other additional ways in order to make gold with the volatile water such as i.e. some bits of transmog and all that 
is just an uptick for this, but it is mainly the vial of the sand melt which requires it the most, and that is where it's deriving its gold value from overall. Now, combined with the potion of treasure finding, you will get a lot of pyrite, elementium, other volatiles along with this, and because you're killing so many mobs per hour, the chances of you getting your treasure chests from this is vastly increased. Now, with this one, I would recommend either doing this on a demon hunter, warrior, or a druid. This is because of their AoE abilities, but you can also use this as an arcane mage for insane burst. But aside from that, those three at the beginning were the best ones to farm this. Now, aside from that, let's get on to number four, which is the Titanium Ore Farm in Wintergrasp. Now, Wintergrasp Titanium Ore Farm has been one of my most favorite farms to do for literally the entire time I've ever played. Um, mainly because it always sells, it's always in demand, it's used for a lot, and uh, I mean a lot of transmogs, and the Mechaneer's Chopper. This is a low tier mount, but sells relatively well on most realms. The, the Wintergrass farm for Titanium Ore can be used to create the Mechaneer's Chopper, which about an hour and a half's worth of farming there in Wintergrass will provide you with roughly a chopper every hour and a half. So in three hours worth of farming, you have two Mechaneer's Choppers. But if you wanted to sell all of the mats flat on the auction house, the majority of them, like the Saronite and the Titanium Ore, along with the Eternals that you get along with this farm, sell insanely fast as well. This is because they're used in a wide variety of different types of things, and then you will subsequently make a lot of gold from this. The only thing that you will need to bear in mind is when a battle is in session in Wintergrasp, it will dismount you if you are flying. The only way of circumventing this is by using a Druid. Now, when the debuff pops on you, the, all you have to do is dismount while in the air, and then remount while in the air as well. This will remove the debuff and put, and then put you back to normal. This will happen every time the letters will appear on the screen for which part of the zone you're in, and then while that battle is persisting, you will have to do that. Other than that, once a battle actually does happen, all you have to do is then jump into a flying jump into a ground mount because you're not going to be able to fly around and it'll be a complete waste of your time if you don't do that. Another thing is do not use the Dark Moon Firewater or any form of increased mining for this farm because the root on the screen and the root in general will actually respawn less than how fast you can actually mine. So you'd be doing two loops before you get your respawn for all of those ores. So just bear in mind that if you go too fast, you will miss one lap. So don't do it without a fo so do it without a dark moon fire water and you will always have a consistent rate of ores. If you use it with the dark moon fire water, you will have to do one lap to get your ores and then another lap for them to respawn and that is not fun for anyone. Now coming in at number five to finish off this video and that is Skyreach. Now this is a reliable farm because it is raw gold in your bags. Now this one is found in the spires of Iraq and it is a dungeon. What I recommend is by either running it on a warrior, demon hunter, or a druid. And that is because they are fast, they are, they are able to get around dungeons and raids pretty damn easily. And with Skyreach, in an hour's worth of 10 lockouts, you're roughly going to get around about 3.5 to 4,000 gold in your bags in raw gold. This is the most reliable way in order to make gold as it is raw gold in your bags. And overall, what we're actually trying to do is trying to actually get gold as fast as possible without as much hassle. That is what encapsulates a reliable farm. So it is only best fitting that a raw gold farm would make it at number one on this list. And that is for Skyreach. Other than that, guys, have an awesome rest of the day. And I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.